All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So what I'm about to say may be kind of shocking as far as me being a father. Uh, but I'm not a family man. And I think a lot of men are going to feel like I feel at some time in their life or may feel like it and don't want to kind of expose it. Now, that does not mean that I don't love being a father. That's, I've been wait, I was waiting for that back in junior high. I even wrote a journal in eighth grade saying, I'm going to have two daughters. I'm going to either live in Florida or California. I'm going to live this extraordinary life that I want to live with them and blah, blah, blah. And for the most part, I came very close to doing it. Some complications because both of my daughters ended up having some health issues. But it was still an amazing life with my daughters. And it, it's a, I, I got to find that journal. It was somewhere, but it was pretty accurate as far as me being so excited to have two daughters. But when I had daughters, I kind of fell into a uh, Mr. Mom position, which as time went along, it aggravated me. But when I was doing it, I loved it. I loved spending as much time as I could with my daughters. I was very fortunate too to work with my father. So I had the freedom to set my own schedules. Uh, I even took summers off. I would take, uh, we lived in Orlando, Florida for the most part. Uh, we spent a lot of times in all the parks, but I also had, like I was saying earlier, one of my daughters had a major setback uh, as a child having a liver transplant, and then the other one ended up having type 1 diabetes. So it was kind of complicated as well. I don't want to say my life was some extraordinary, you know, whatever, but uh, what I realized, though, regarding me is, and I love, and here's the thing, I dedicated a lot of my time and effort still to my kids. But I'm not the dad, I realize, that's going to be home barbecuing. I'm not kind of the dad that's going to be the person who always invites people over to my place and cooks for them, any of that. I'm kind of the dad that's always out, not in the home. I'm always kind of on the go. Now, I have massive families on both sides of my Italian families, uh, both sides. And most of my cousins, for the most part, they're incredible family men. They all have homes. A lot of them have wealth. They have parties. They have people over. I don't care if I even go to a Chicago Bears game on both sides of my family. Again, they both have season tickets. Uh, you know, they're barbecuing for everybody at the game. Uh, they're getting the tickets for everybody. Uh, you know, doing all that stuff. You get there. Everything's prepared. You may even meet before you go to the game. And then there may be a dinner afterwards. And it's all really family oriented and I grew up with that environment with all the households and the dads always kind of for the most part being there and doing all these things especially in the summers of one side of my family they had a cottage and everybody would stay at this cottage with the family and all the fathers would get together and the mothers and they would all do these things and they had boats I used to call them the Italian Kennedys I kind of talk a lot about them on my podcast and all my uncles on both sides of my family, still to this day, and tons of my cousins, and I have hundreds of cousins, amazing family men. And I'm always on the outskirts, you know, kind of looking. I don't cook. I'll help clean. Uh, but for the most part, my mother used to say I'm a restaurant guy or I'm in, out, I'm in, I'm in the bars, nightclubs. Uh, I don't care now, cigar places, mainly restaurants now, I'd say at my age. I'm on the go. But I don't really also... I've never really traveled with people. I don't have patience. Again, that's one of those things saying I'm really not necessarily a great family guy for that because people would be like, Rich, let's all go camping. And even my daughter says my father doesn't do like things like that and either do we, which was kind of a snob remark, but that it was truthful. And if I travel for weddings or whatever, I'm much better independent. I'm just, I have the patience, of course, for my daughters or basically my stepkids as well and my girlfriend. But it's very short. As much patience as I have to a certain degree, I have none. And even with my parents too, I try the best I can at being as patient with them. And I'm sure they're on the other end. I always think about what kind of patience does it take to deal with somebody like me? But again, even with my step, uh, my step, my stepmother and my uh, half brothers and sisters and stuff, I very seldom do anything with them as a family. And I love them, guys. I have nothing against them. I'm again starting to realize at a certain age, I don't, I'm just not with that. If you want to meet me at a park or at a restaurant or a bar, whatever, I'm a blast. I'm with you. I'm not the type. Now, if you invite me over for dinner, of course I'm coming. I'm not going to be the one to always invite people. I, I very seldom ever invite people. I am not a, my cousin used to say about me, you love being, um, you know, I love taking care of people and you like when 
you know, others take care of you. But I realized my environment isn't like a family environment. Mine is again out. If I'm thinking Thanksgiving for me, and believe me, I used to love Thanksgiving, especially Italian Thanksgiving. I love going to other people's homes, big homes, Thanksgiving. Then I have to get out, right? Or if I'm not invited or I can't do something, I'm thinking restaurant. I'm thinking I don't want to be bothered with anything, doing the dishes, cooking, nothing. Like, even I don't care if it's Christmas. Yes, I love big Christmases. For one, I hate getting up in the morning. Don't bother me with that shit. But I'm thinking about what movie am I going to see on Christmas Day because traditionally that's what we started to do. I love Christmas, of course. You know, you have Midnight Mass maybe on uh, Christmas Eve and all those things get together, of course, right? But I remember I have a close friend of mine in Canada. And he's like, Rich, when I get old, all I, say, all I want is like me sitting around with all my grandchildren running around. And it hit me and I said, that's the opposite of what I want. I want me to be with my grandchildren maybe, you know, at a beach restaurant, uh, maybe eating, and then we go for gelato or maybe go to a park again because I like, I'm not going to lie, I like parks. I don't care if it's Universal, Disney, Bush Gardens. I just got as a Father's Day gift, Bush Gardens. Like being active. I'm not the guy who's going to sit at home with their kids all day and all night or just have people over and kind of be that grandfather. Again, I, I don't see me being any different. I'm going to be always the guy on the go. Even my family still owning boats in Miami or Boynton Beach, wherever the hell they're in the Midwest in Illinois, in California, I have family. Arizona, I, they have boats. Not in Arizona. In Arizona, they just I have a huge family there too, and we just go there. But back to the boats, I love enjoying that, but I need to get away from that. It's about maintaining, I think, is what... I'm really not about or creating where my family, unbelievable, unbelievable dads as far as that goes and family men. And the reason I want to just really do a podcast on this, because I think what I'm saying, I think a lot of men, and maybe I'm wrong, but I do think there's a lot of men out there that don't want to be bothered, that get boxed in saying, okay, I got to buy a house and then I got to be a host all the time, or I got to, you know, I got to, I got to get the pool. I'm in Florida. Okay. And then I got to pool parties. And then I got to be the one to buy a boat, even if it's a fishing boat, because my buddies like to fish or I got to be the one, you know, um, to do a lot of family orientated things that they don't want to do. And they, a lot of times don't know how to step aside and say, listen, this just ain't my thing. Right, and I, I even went on a big cruise with my family, which I loved very much about a year and a half ago. Huge, I don't know, those are 50 of us. And they're so used to always being together, a lot of them from Chicago, where I love meeting with them, eating, but then I had a dip. I don't care if I was in Puerto Rico, I don't care if I was in St. John's, I don't care where in the, where else do we go? Not the Bahamas, I, we're all over the place. Miami, anyways, we went on a big cruise for like, I don't even know how many days, over a week, I know that, was it 10 days? I don't even know, it was wonderful, all these different islands. But I'm in and out, kind of. And I don't like the bullshit. I don't like to waste a lot of time or sitting around. And I think a lot of fathers, I should say, maybe even boyfriends at times, kind of get boxed in becoming something and it becomes very aggravating after time. And then they feel like they want to break out. They feel like they put themselves in a position where they're either feeling like I'm bored to death or I have to cater to everyone else or I'm taking on a lot of responsibility that I don't want to take on being in this role, especially if you start having a lot of children. And of course, I'm not telling you to stiff your kids or any or your family by any means, quite the opposite, but kind of know your role as a family man. Don't compete with others, I think, a lot of times with a lot of, especially younger people I see now, they're competing more and more house, bigger homes, more homes, uh, more boats, maybe more cars. And if you can afford it, God bless you. But I also see the stress level and even more kids on a lot of my cousins, again, uh, and other family members that they put themselves a lot of stress under. Don't do it to yourself. You don't have to do that to bring value to who you are or your family. Live the life that you truly want to live as a family man. Uh, if And again, if you want to do those things, you're more than welcome to it. But I'm just telling you from what I've learned over the years is I had to figure out what works best for me and not pretend to be a certain type of father that I'm not. Or even if I'm a grandfather in the future, be this certain type. Even a stepfather, What like I'm not here to pretend that I'm anything other than what I want to be in this family environment. My kids know to be with me 
you know, to do things with me, it's got to work both ways. I'm not going to just do what they always want to do. A lot of, sometimes I do, but they also understand you're going to have to maybe do some things I want to do. But I, again, am not the guy who's going to be sitting at a home, maybe watch a movie here or there, but I'm on the go. We're going to be going. We're going to be going and meeting here. We're going to be going doing that and doing this. And if, you know, if you're somebody out there like a father or whoever the hell you are, if you like to go and do different things, you know, go do them. Don't, don't get caught up boxing yourself in, especially with homes and becoming, you know, house poor or buying a lot of things that you have to maintain that after a certain amount of time bog you down. Because I think at the beginning, like anything else, it's fun buying a big home, getting a pool or doing whatever you're doing, buying boats or all these things. Again, financially maintaining it, but also just doing it once the newness kind of wears off, it's all, it may not be as fun as you think. And you see like mothers and fathers, I think a lot of times become depressed or bored. They also just, like I said earlier, it just may not be for you. So just something to think about. That's all I got for you today. If you want any more information on who I am, richchalenza.com. I just try to help people in any way I can. Again, these are my opinions. I am not a doctor or anything like that. These are just things that I went through and I always try to take an honest approach. And a lot of times it's a lot different than what other people are taking because I think we're programmed to say, you're a dad, you have to do this, 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 this. You're a grandfather, you have to do this, 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 this. I don't know who set the rules. I don't believe in any of them. I lived a life that I want to lead. Uh, and they can lead it with me and I can also lead it with them, but I don't have to follow anybody's rules. I don't care if it's my kids, grandkids, stepkids, who are cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents. Uh, I have to make sure that what I'm doing is just as enjoyable for me as it is for them. So that's all I got for you today. Take care.